Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Aylott. I'm a registered nutritionist with a special interest in food, and I'm here today to talk to you about gluten and the effect that it has on people with celiac disease. Celiac disease is a very wide-ranging condition, and that's part of the problem. So symptoms can range from very, very mild to very, very severe. Um, and if you're someone who is experiencing these symptoms, it's very difficult to know whether it might be celiac disease. Um, some of the classic symptoms of celiac disease are abdominal pain, which can be very severe, bloating, feeling of nausea, diarrhea, um, weight loss is quite a common symptom because you're not absorbing the nutrients properly, being extremely tired and not having any energy, feeling very lethargic. Um, vomiting can actually be a problem, but that's actually not that common in most people. You can also have problems in terms of tingling and numbness in the extremities, so on your hands and feet, where again you're getting deficiencies from some of the minerals and nutrients that you might need. Um, other less common symptoms might be skin problems, so an itchy rash or dry skin, hair loss, um, and these can actually be more debilitating sometimes than the more common symptoms with the gastrointestinal problems. So, all the way through, if you're experiencing these problems, the first thing you should do is actually go and talk to your GP. Um, the thing with celiac disease is these symptoms can actually mimic lots of other conditions, so it's important to talk to your GP and get an understanding of whether the symptoms you're experiencing might be celiac disease.